Carlos Alcaraz versus Daniel Medvedev. It's the first semi-final for the men's Wimbledon for 2024. Both guys have had great runs to get to this stage. Medvedev entered the tournament as the number five seed and will take on Kovacevic in the first round. There's no problem getting to him straight. 6-3, 6-4, 6-2. In the second round, he take on Muller. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 6-7, 7-6, 6-4, 7-5. In the third round, he take on Struff, who had been really good on the grass lately. And after taking the first two sets and having multiple rain delays, Medvedev would eventually win in four. 6-1, 6-3, 4-6, 7-6. In the fourth round, he was supposed to play... Grigor Dimitrov, the number 10 seed. But unfortunately, during the first set, Dimitrov got injured with Medvedev up 5-3 retirement. In the quarterfinals, Medvedev will take on Sinner, the world number one, who had beaten him in a heartbreaking loss at the Australian Open in the final in January. After winning two of the first three sets, Medvedev would get the job done. 6-7, 6-4, 7-6, 2-6, to advance to the semifinals. Alcaraz entered the tournament as the number three seed and will take on the qualifier Lyell in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 7-6, 7-5, 6-2. In the second round, he take on Vukic. And again, after a close first set, would get through in straights. 7-6, 6-2, 6-2. Third round, he'd take on Tiafo, the number 29 seed, and a man that he'd played a five-set epic against two years ago at the US Open. And this was a battle. After dropping two of the first three sets, Alcaraz would fight back to win. 5-7, 6-2, 4-6, 7-6, 6-2. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 16th seed, Umber, a very capable grass court guy over the years. And after dropping the third set, Alcaraz would fight to avoid a fifth. 6-3, 6-4, 1-6, 7-5, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Alcaraz would take on the number 12 seed, Paul, who'd had some troubles with in the past. And after going down a set, Alcaraz would fight back to win. 5 7 6 4 6 2 6 2 to advance to the semi finals. These guys have played six times before, with Alcaraz leading 4 2 in the head to head, including winning their last two matches, with the last one being at the Indian Wells final. Alcaraz getting the win in straight sets. They also did play at Wimbledon last year in the semi final stage, with Alcaraz getting the win there, but it'll be their third match at Wimbledon, and on the grass, they're 1 1, split straight down the middle. If Memedev's going to win this one, he's going to have to be aggressive like he was against Sinner and also serve well like he did against Sinner. Getting the first set also probably going to be crucial because if he does go down a set, you might think of last year and think, oh no, here we go again. So he's going to have to get the first set. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to cut the errors. He's been a little bit sloppy the last couple of matches. Even against Paul early in the match, he was a little bit uh, almost like showing off, doing a little bit of, you know, doing the tweeners and doing some fancy things that he doesn't need to do in a semi-final major. We know Medvedev doesn't muck around in these tournaments, so he's going to have to play sensible and smart from the start and also use that variety that has got his wins over Medvedev in the past. Great matchup. I think everybody was hit hoping for Alcaraz Sinner. Alcaraz Medvedev is a great second matchup if we didn't get the, the blockbuster that we thought, but I have to go with Alcaraz in five sets here. I reckon he just outlast Medi in the end. And I think that he might just get Medi again. 4-2 you know, the head-to-head -head is in favor of Alcaraz. I reckon he might just beat him though and get a five-set win, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.